Hi there, this is Sagar More from sagarmore.in and today in this video, I am going to explain HTML tag names, elements, attributes, values and quotes. So let's start. First of all, we will start with HTML tags. HTML has many tags and we can divide them into two sections. The first section is empty tags and the second one is non-empty tags. So we will start with non-empty tags first. Non-empty tags are declared with the tag name and it needs to be closed with the forward slash. Your tag name starts within less than and greater than brackets and it ends with forward slash and the tag name. So this is the syntax of non-empty tag. Empty tags are tags which don't need to be closed separately. So the tag name only goes inside less than and greater than brackets. Non-empty tags examples are paragraph tag, division tag and other tags which needs to be closed separately. Where in empty tag example, we can consider example of br tag or hr tag which don't need its closing tag. So let's go ahead and see what is element in HTML. When we say element, it consists of tag name and content together. So for our example, when we say tag name, we can consider any tag name like paragraph tag. So when we consider this example as element, then we should know that element consists of the content and tag name and its attributes also. So whatever you can see from start tag to end tag is element. So here in this example, if we add any attribute to the paragraph tag like title, then also from starting tag to end tag, it is considered as element. So then you should remember that the element is the whole thing which starts from the tag name and ends with the tag name. So inside this start tag and end tag, whatever comes, it is called as element content. And the whole thing is called as element. Let me go ahead and show you what is attribute and value. Let's take an example of anchor tag. So in anchor tag, when we say href, which is hypertext reference, then it is attribute. Here anchor tag is a tag name. Hypertext reference is attribute. And whatever comes after is equal to sign is its value. So is equal to sign differentiates attribute and value. Attribute remains at the left hand side of is equal to operator where value remains at the right hand side. Again, if we write target attribute, then target is the attribute and inside double quotes, whatever you give is the value. So don't confuse between element, tag, attribute and value. Let me revise it again. HTML tags are only the tag name and the element is the whole thing starting from start tag to end tag. It might contain attribute, values and content also. Attribute is the property of tag name. So here anchor tag is tag name and href is its property. So href is attribute here. Likewise target is also a attribute and the value blank is a value. And finally the quotes. Let's take an example of paragraph tag again. In this example the title value is enclosed in double quotes. You can also use single quotes instead of double quotes. However, if you require single quote inside the value, then you should enclose whole value in double quotes only. Where in other hands, if you require double quotes inside the value, then you can enclose the value with single quotes. If you don't write quotes to the values of attributes, it will consider the first word before the space. So while interpreting the document, it will find only this word which is without space and whenever it finds space, it breaks the word and it doesn't consider other words. So whenever there is space, you should enclose it within the double quotes or single quotes. It's always a good practice to enclose attribute values inside quotes. HTML is not case sensitive language. However, W3C recommends to use lowercase tags, attributes and values into your document. So this was the introduction video about tags, elements, attributes and how to use quotes. 
it will definitely help you to understand how to use quotes and how to differentiate between tags, elements and attributes. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, click on like button. Share this knowledge by sharing this video link with your friends and family. Subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed. If you have already subscribed to my channel, click on bell icon. Comment down below if you have any suggestion or feedback. Make sure you watch my other tutorials also. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Be technical.